Vesugen, the peptide that quietly works behind the scenes while the flashy ones like BPC-157 and TB-500 steal all the clout. It's a short tripeptide bioregulator originally discovered in Russia, which instantly makes it sound like it should come with a shot of vodka and a pack of sunflower seeds. What Vesugen actually does is pretty wild. It helps repair blood vessels and protect the heart, especially when your lifestyle choices are doing their best to clog your arteries like a McDonald's loyalty member. It's known as a cytomedin, a class of peptides that regulate gene expression and tissue repair. In a way, it flips genetic switches and tells your organs to stop slacking like a boomer on a smoke break. Researchers found that Vesugen, also known as KED, reduced the expression of specific markers that basically tell your stem cells it's time to retire. Less of those markers means your cells keep dividing, repairing, and staying active longer. Vesugen doesn't just protect your arteries, it helps rebuild them. It keeps the endothelium stable and functional, which is the thin inner lining of your blood vessels. If your vascular system were a highway, Vesugen would be the maintenance crew filling cracks before your blood flow turns into a traffic jam. There's a reason why it's recognized as one of the most potent stimulator of stem cells in the world. It's been studied for its effects on heart health, circulation, and recovery from oxidative stress. And while peptides like BPC fix the injuries you feel, Vesugen is busy fixing the ones you don't. It's like doing yoga for your arteries without the leggings, the incense, or the fake enlightenment. It's not a miracle, but if you care about longevity, blood flow, and cellular repair, Vesugen deserves a permanent spot in the conversation. Because when your vessels are healthy, everything else just works better. This has been Vesugen in 120 seconds. If you liked this short peptide breakdown, make sure to like, subscribe, and tell me in the comments what you want to see next. I'll see you in the next one.